my sleeping pattern's messed up and I can't sleep, I thought I'd do a lesson on chokes because I think it's astonishing how many people don't know how to use a choke. They really don't. A lot of people just don't know how to use a choke. It's, it's, um, it's fairly just common sense. But I suppose, as with anything, you have to learn the understandings of how something works before you can appreciate how to use it. So, I'm going to do my best to tell you. Now I've dismantled this pressure washer here, there's some of it. Just so that I can show you exactly how an ordinary choke works. I'm hoping you can get enough light in there. So, as you can see, here is the choke lever. That's the choke lever there. And when you move that, uh, that is linked to this little black arm here. Uh, which then goes down into the carburetor. And it moves it like that. Now that position is the fully closed position. That's for when your engine is cold. Uh, you know, whether it's been left overnight. Or whether it's just cold outside and you've, you've gone for a break or something and your engine has gone cold. So that is the closed position. Now what this does is it stops. You can see because it's across the entrance there. It stops a lot of air getting through. And what an engine needs. Chokes are only on petrols by the way in case you didn't know that either. And what a petrol engine needs in order to start when the air coming in is cold it needs less of that and more fuel it needs a ri richer fuel mixture now because that's all the way across it's obviously stopping um, excess air getting in as much as there would be if it was in the fully open position now that's all the way that's maximum airflow so you're getting a lot more fuel going through because remember there's still the same amount of fuel going through the line there's still the same amount of fuel going through the um, jets and probably there'll be a little bit more as well because of that vacuums inside there so your engine is getting a lot more fuel which is perfect for starting in cold weather or cold conditions so this is a manual choke obviously um, a lot of small engines like these ones uh, a lot of bikes, motorbikes, um, a lot of older cars. I had a couple of old cars. Um, I had a Peugeot 106 Rally that had a, uh, a manual choke. I do like manual chokes, you can play about with them. Um, you know, just so you get a nice get your car to start properly. But with a manual choke, um, what you'll do is it all depends on the engine as well um, some engines they like to have um, they like to have a lot of choke to start some engines whereas others they don't necessarily need so much choke um, some engines they like the choke to be on for about 30 seconds to a minute before you can turn it off or that they just die but um, I'll get into that in a minute because there's quite a, there's a little bit of detail which is also quite frustrating because if you misuse a choke you can ruin your engine but anyway we'll go back to the basics so you've got your choke in the fully closed position you've started up your engine and it's chugging away like what it does chugging away um, because it won't run very well while that's fully closed it won't run very well at all in fact It'll run like um, it'll be lumpy, and it'll probably have a, quite a lot of black smoke coming out of the exhaust um, because there's excess, too much fuel, not enough air. Now, with the most engines, you'll be able, you'll have to just turn it a little bit like that, and it'll start to run a little bit better. Probably won't rev, but you shouldn't be revving a cold engine anyway. If you're revving a cold engine, you shouldn't be, ha you shouldn't have access to any engines if you rev a cold engine because you're stupid. So. Once it's running a bit better, open it a little bit more and it'll probably start to run a little bit better. Or if it starts to die, um, when you're opening the choke some more, if it starts to die, um, just close it a little bit. 
and it should start to run a bit better. Eventually, you'll have it in the fully open position, which is, um, you know, the hot position. That's where you run it. Oh, I'm zooming in. That's where you just uh, run it normally, you know, for normal operating conditions. That's where you have it, um, just in that position there. Now, some engines, um, normally Hondas, Honda require you to start your engine even when it's hot with the choke on. That's a load of rubbish. Even though they say that, you can happily start your engine with the choke once it's warmed up. Start it with the choke all the way open. That's the way it should be. Now, like I said, there are some people that don't know how to use a choke and they use them all wrong and end up destroying their engine. Because if you run an engine for too long while it's while it's warmed up with the choke on, what it'll do is it'll like running with the choke on. It won't run very well, in fact it'll run like an absolute bag of shit. More than likely. But it'll like it. And then when you go to turn the choke off and I open it up again, it won't want to run very well. Now it's not, you know, it take a lot of doing it. You'll have to run it for maybe a couple of days or whatever, you know, with the choke on before it starts to think, Ooh, I like running with the choke on now. But they'll do that. And then it won't run very well, and it'll never run very well ever again. Now, this is a manual choke. Um, like I said, manual chokes are, even today, still found on small engines, such as pressure washers, lawn mowers, dirt bikes, trials bikes, quad bikes. Although, I think uh, motocross bikes are going towards fuel injection now, which is a load of rubbish. I'll have to get into that another day. And I've got a lot to say about that. But this is a manual choke. Now there is automatic chokes. Um, a lot of um, carbureted cars, before they stopped doing carbureted cars, they started to run automatic chokes. Um, and some lawn mowers run automatic chokes nowadays. Which all it is, it has a little... Um, it's difficult to show it on this carburetor, but somewhere on the carb, somewhere on the on the side, there will be a little block with a little sensor in it, and that will sense how hot um, the engine is in a way. It'll have, it'll have a wire going to it, and when you first turn the ignition on or put power to it, it'll open up. It'll open up like that. And then when you go to start the when you start to turn over the engine, it close, close the choke. And then as it's warming up, it'll slowly, maybe it might take two to three minutes, but as the engine's warming up, it'll slowly open itself up because the little black box has got electric on it, with a little motor or solenoid, which is connected to the choke inside. And as the engine's warming up. It'll slowly open up the choke until it's fully open. And then it'll stay like that. And it'll stay like that all the way until when you turn the engine off again, it'll probably close itself up. And then when you put power to it, it'll open up again. And if the engine's still hot, it'll stay open. Or if the engine's cooled down again, it'll probably close like that. And then it'll open up again as and when it needs to. <laughs> But that's how an automatic choke works. I still prefer the manual chokes and in a way I wish they still had done them manual chokes but everything's going towards fuel injection nowadays which is fuel injection is a complete and utter load of rubbish. I don't like fuel injection. Um, it does a good job in cars and you know a lot of people argue you get a lot more power which well you might do but if you run a, a good car, car set setup you, you can get plenty of power out of it. But modern day fuel injection is the way it goes. Now fuel injection, I'll have to do another video on that because that's going to go, that's going to go a long way. I think uh, that will make a whole other video. But fuel injection, just for the choke side of things, don't have a choke fuel injection. Fuel injection, um, the computer obviously 
has temperature sensors and it senses when the engine is cold and what it does is it just simply chucks more fuel in through the injectors just while it's cold which is why with a fuel injector a fuel injection engine when you start it up 9 out of 10 of them they run slightly higher on the revs you know maybe 1000 revs 1100 for 30 seconds maybe run higher on the revs and then you'll hear them slowly come down that's because the computer is sensing the engines warming up enough and it thinks I can back off on the fuel now and get the mixtures back right again that's all that does they don't have chokes or anything like that they just have uh, extra fuel put in by the uh, computer I should point out by the way because I'm taking for granted that a lot of people already know this but you might not do you might be a complete and utter novice at all, at everything to do with engines so in case you're wondering it's only petrols that have any kind of choke diesels don't usually have any kind of choke all they have is either block heaters or glow plugs which is in pretty much most diesel engines you have glow plugs which heats up the cylinders um, and any fuel in the cylinder before you start it it's just a glow plug just gets hot just heats it up that's all that does and uh, so yeah, they, they have no kind of choke no kind of choking system as far as I'm aware anyway I've never come across one but I should point out that this small choke on smaller engines like this is obviously very small when you get the bigger carburetors that, are, that were on cars, which I don't have to show you, but they go across the whole, you've got like the whole um, thingy of, you'll have, you know, it'll be about that big, yeah? Maybe more, it'll be bigger, bigger all over there somewhere, big carburetor. It'll go across the top of it, and you'll still have a bit down the bottom um, where the air will still go in. It'll only block half, whereas these chokes, they block the whole lot. They block the whole lot and all you have in there is a little gap for some air to get through. That's all you've got. So different type of carburetors have different type of choking plates. That's called the choke plate. They all have different types. So I thought I'd just point that bit out to you because like I said before some of you might not know nothing at all about engines and you might be thinking to yourself, well, how does all that work then? It is very important to keep your chokes clean. With uh, You can use some carb spray cleaner, that's what it's for after all. It's very important to keep it clean because, especially with an automatic choke, if you've got an automatic choke and it's getting a lot of soot, debris, if your air filter is not doing its job properly, in which case your engine will probably be fucked anyway, but if you ain't doing this job properly and you're getting a lot of dirt build up around the choke, around the choke plate and it can't close properly or it can't open properly if it's getting jammed or if there's something in the way you're going to have some problems so it's always a good idea to spray a bit of this carb cleaner in now and it'll just dissolve any um, dirt, debris it's good stuff man it cleans carburetors obviously because that's what it's meant to do carb spray cleaner um, cleans carburetors linkages and automatic chokes so just keep them clean man because you see a lot of people with the you know they're starting trying to start their car up and it's not starting properly whereas if they had their choke working properly it probably would do so now you know how to use your choke. So the next time I see somebody either running their engine with the choke on because they don't know how to operate it or if they're trying to start their engine and they don't know <laughs> and they're going, well why aren't it starting? Is the choke on or is it off? Well it ain't difficult just to look at the lever and see whether it's on or whether it's off. Or if you really, really have to, take the air filter off. Have a look in there. See whether it's closed or whether it's open. Using a choke is one of the most basic things about operating an engine. 